Today's Saturday and it's the 29th of October 2022 and here we are in Palmer. It's, uh, it's an afternoon so we're doing an afternoon walk. The sun's going to be setting soon but uh, hopefully it'll be up long enough for us to do a little walk around Palmer. And as you can see we're actually standing in front of the cathedral uh, in Parc de Mar and if you just look down uh, the work has actually started, so the season has more or less come to an end. It's the end of October and uh, as promised work is beginning in, in all sorts of parts of Palmer. And uh, here in Parc de Mar it's the uh, stones that were on the floor that were mostly cracked and broken and actually dangerous, certainly to people like me. And so they've already been taken up and they're going to be replaced by new ones. The old ones were made out of the old sandstone and uh, it's really not a very strong uh, material to make the stones, the flooring out of. So they're going to be replaced with something a little bit more like we have here, uh, which is uh, some sort of concrete, I think. And uh, they've already started work on that. So all of the area to the right is now fenced off. And it looks as though they need to do a bit of work down here as well. Um, whether they're going to do this part I don't know, but there is a lot of money being put aside to do this so probably um, they'll do one part and then they'll do another. Of course there is a bar down there which um, is right in the middle of the construction site and it looks as though that's going to be closed for some time until the work has been completed. In recent weeks we've been here a few times to various markets that have been on but with the work as it is there are no markets today and this looks like it might be the sort of stone they're planning to use although there's not much of this around so that's not enough to do it we'll see and uh, we'll come back later on and uh, and have a look Street artists are at work. Doing their caricatures and portraits. It's a different sort of talent to do things like that. Something I can't possibly do. If you do come down to this part of Palmer, uh, be a little bit careful of flower sellers. They're quite often associated with pickpockets. So best simply avoided. So we're going up the steps here towards the cathedral. I think I'll turn the camera off as I go up the steps. So get to the top of the steps and you're rewarded with the, the fantastic view over the Parc de Mar. Uh, there are fountains in the Parc de Mar which is not on today and uh, I guess with all the work that's going on they're probably not going to be on for some time. And more street artists here. This is the old part of Palmer, this would be the old wall. Sea would have you know, would have come up to here more or less. And uh, the road beyond is on reclaimed land. But we're going to go up towards the cathedral, which means more steps. Lots of people out walking, having an afternoon promenade. Not 
Armathit Cathedral, one of the biggest in the world. And a beautiful building it is inside and out. to the top even more views lots of cruise ships in today as we drove into Palma we could see two or three uh, looks at least three in Palma today a good move wasn't it? I hadn't really thought of that there. The shops are all closed. <laughs> There'll be some shops open. It's our first experience of coming to live here. It's coming into Palma on a Saturday afternoon which we would normally go to Hanley and stick on Trent on a Saturday afternoon and wander around the shops. When we tried that in Palma they were all closed, so we had to go for lunch instead. <laughs> that was our first experience of living in Palma 37 years ago. Probably cost the same as it costs today as well. <laughs> if you are coming to the cathedral, and uh, that's the entrance is just down there, and you pay a fee to go into the cathedral. It's well worth it. The cathedral is magnificent inside. Another way of seeing the city is to get on one of these horse and carriages and they will take you around the city of Palma. There's a little bit of controversy about them, um, particularly in the summer months when the temperatures are so high it's uh, considered by many to be cruel to the, the horses to have them wandering around the streets and so there have been a number of protests there's even been a suggestion by the, the local government that they get replaced by electric vehicles much like a, so you get the carriage without the horse in front I suppose it's not quite the same but at least it's quiet and it's environmentally not so bad and certainly has no cruelty to the animals. So there are some shops open. All these boxes here, what's been unpacked by the shop and they will be collected later on this afternoon or this evening by the rubbish collectors and the streets will be clear again. Pearls are not to, to Anita's taste particularly, so she doesn't have very much interest in those. Are you glad? I think we do have some pearls at home, yeah? Over on the left-hand side, uh, we have government buildings and the, the parliament. So, a lot of these parking places are restricted for government officials. Not sure how that applies on a Saturday afternoon. But we simply parked in the car park uh, near to the port. And uh, in the afternoon, it's free, you don't have to pay. We're heading up towards Plaza Court. Plaza Court is where the town hall for Palma is.
There's still quite a few people around. And there's a, a fan shop. And bag shop. Cork. Well, everything there made from cork which seems to have suddenly taken off here in Mallorca. Everywhere we go, all the fairs, all the markets seem to have cork shops. Well, sell cork things. Really lucky in Palma to have some beautiful architecture. And here on the right, which you're walking right by, just see this the intricacies of the stonework here. Really quite pretty. This is the Ayantamiento, this is the town hall. Beautiful doors, gates, polished brass. And the plaza in front is called Plaza Court. And uh, over to the left, you've got a good view from here of the, the ancient olive tree. Dating back hundreds, thousands of years, actually. looking across the road there's a uh, the shop at the bottom is Cartier but the building above it beautifully constructed beautiful work and next to that the cappuccino hotel carry on we're walking up see the blue barriers are out for keeping pedestrians in their right places If we were here for New Year's Eve, this would probably be where we come to, to celebrate the New Year. But, um, I'm not actually sure at the moment where we're going to be for New Year's Eve. Anita hasn't told me yet. Surprise. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise. So there's the Grand Hotel Cappuccino. The building itself um, all of the interior was knocked down and they, they left the, the facade and then the place was rebuilt and they've done a very nice job but my guess is it's in the middle of Palmer it could well be a little bit pricey so we left Plaza Court behind us and we're now heading towards Plaza Mayor, and I've just seen on the uh, pharmacy thermometer that the temperature at the moment is 25 degrees. And it actually feels 25 degrees. That's a shade temperature, and the time 17:48. So it's just coming up to 10 to 6 in the evening. And it's still 25 degrees. So definitely shirts and t-shirt weather. Well, it does go a bit cooler, so if you're coming out in the next uh, few days, it does definitely get a bit cooler in the evening. And then towards the end of next week, the temperature is due to drop a little bit.
So even though it's a Saturday afternoon and some businesses are closed, there are many that are open. Look, fan shop. And it's another cork shop. In fact, it's the same cork shop. The same, same name. Really pretty looking building right in front, looking up. San Cristo. Beautiful architecture. Just notice somebody getting out of a taxi there. You still have to wear a face mask on public transport, so taxis, public transport, you've got to wear a mask. But entry restrictions have now been dropped for third countries, so no one has to show vaccination certificates anymore. More street artists at work. I'm just about to enter Plaza España. The Red Cross are here and the bagpipes are playing for us. And the people who are coming towards us are the Castellas de Mallorca. And these are the ones, uh, a group of people on the island who make the human pyramids. And we've just arrived in time for them to enter Plata Mayor. You can see they've all got their red shirts on. The music's playing, the bagpipes, the drums, the whistles, the flute. And great to see them here. waistbands on you can see they've got black waistbands these are like a, a weightlifter might wear a belt to protect their backs and uh, so they've got the waistbands and they're very tightly wound around them it's a, a piece of material several meters long and it gets wound around them until it's really quite tight and that will give their backs a little bit of support And you might see one or two of the youngsters which have got um, crash helmets on. They're the ones that are going to go right up to the top and uh, well, safety first. You can see here they've, this girl's already got one piece of material around her waist and they're now putting a piece of material around another girl's waist they get it really tightly to give that protection to the back so it's about a three meters worth of material it's going to be posted um, around their waist to give them that little bit of protection as they go up and some of the children that go up high really quite young is a, another one bigger person having an even longer piece of material put around his waist he's going to be I'm guessing supporting a number of people he's got his no shoes on so he could be on the second tier It'd be good to see them in Rafa Mayor so we last saw them in Al Qaeda and uh, I think that might have been one of the first uh, since COVID that they've actually made the, the castles. These are the Castillas de Mayor. Just 
while we're waiting and I don't know if you can see but up here they've started to put up the Christmas lights um, on the far side they're pretty much up and still got this side to do uh, the Christmas lights are due to be switched on in the second half of November and uh, it will be rather a spectacular sight so once they're on we'll be back down in Parma uh, to, to make a video of the Christmas lights I'm sure they're going to be really really interesting and when we saw the Kruth Rocha, the Red Cross arriving here this is why they're coming to set up their uh, castles and the ones we saw before all had red shirts and there they are uh, but now I'm seeing another group I'm guessing this is another troop uh, another gang they refer to themselves as with the green shirts on and they wear bandanas, a little bit like the scouts, neckerchiefs, which they hold in their teeth. And you'll see that perhaps as they start to perform. Of this is really important and it has to be really strong so lots of people around the base and then uh, the guy we saw putting the band around his waist goes up and he's going to be supported by someone underneath who we can't actually see and then the arms of the people around him are going to support his body uh, but there he is lots of support and then the next one comes, he's making sure he's really solid and sturdy. And the, the neckerchief bandana, I don't know his, his collar actually, is, uh, is inside his mouth. It's, it's the collar of his shirt. The next one goes up and the music starts. Solid, excellent. Take a breather now. Great job done.
second group. Those in the green. And the red are supporting on the other side.
town hall. here in Papa Court. The ring is starting to form.
timed our visit to Palma just right. We managed to see the Castellas, uh, hear the music and uh, see them perform producing their very very nervous castles. I was very nervous, I don't know about them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.